Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Universe Mode. Of course, we are starting here in Monday Night Raw from New Mexico. And the Brawling Brutes are coming out. They said they want to fight anyone and everyone that comes down that ramp here tonight. Obviously led by United States Champion Sheamus after he successfully retained his title against LA Knight at the day one pay-per-view. Sheamus flanked by Butch and Ridge Holland. Anytime you see the Brawling Brutes, you know it's fight night. Oh my goodness. I don't know if the Brawling Brutes are ready to face Imperium. Led by the Ring General Gunta. With Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci. And this six-man tag match is underway. It's United States Champion Sheamus in the ring with the ring general Gunta. Gunta starting the match with multiple chops to the chest. Now in the corner looking for a big boot, but the boot misses. Sheamus blocks another chop and a right hand from Sheamus. Two of the most powerful wrestlers here in universe mode going at it. One-on-one, -on -one, a power bomb from Sheamus. Now loaded with Kaiser getting involved and now Vinci getting involved Vinci in the ring now all members of Imperium attacking the United States champion right now and now a roll up to Sheamus kick out at one Gunta trying to steal a victory early on here in this match Sheamus back in the corner and now a tag to Kaiser now the ring general lifting Sheamus up and a club to the back from Kaiser now Kaiser hammering away at the United States champion. And he desperately needs to make a tag. But Kaiser gets him up. A couple of uppercuts. Goodness gracious. All the members of Imperium attacking the United States champion at once again. Now an arm drag to Sheamus. He's trying to crawl to make a tag. Kaiser misses. Sheamus picking up Kaiser now. He's got him up. Looking for White Noise! White Noise connects to Kaiser! Now he picks him up. Trying to drag him to the corner. Throws him into the turnbuckle and now Sheamus can finally make a tag. It's Ridge Holland. Look at the power of Sheamus! Ridge Holland is not a small man. And he carries him to the center of the ring. Into a swanton! Ridge Holland is quite a large man, and Sheamus just carried him like he was nothing. Now Kaiser trying to get back to his feet. Misses an Inseguri. And he hits a forearm. Kaiser tags in Vinci. And a big clothesline from Holland takes out Vinci. Now Holland focusing on the other members of Imperium. Allows Vinci to get back in the ring. Holland catches Vinci into a suplex. A suplex into the corner. Now Vinci trying to fight back. A tag to Gunta. Gunther got him up into a suplex. The strength of Gunther will not be denied. And now multiple chops. Ridge has chops of his own though. 
Gunta off the ropes. A big shoulder tackle from Holland. Ridge Holland. And now Gunther reverses into a back body drop. And now Gunther looking for a, a sleeper hold. He's got it locked in. This could be it for the Broly Brutes. Ridge is fading. It's broken up by Sheamus. Holland wisely rolls out of the ring. And now Gunther takes out the United States champion. Butch fighting back. All out mayhem here. And now he takes out Butch. Holland back in the ring. Gunther's got him up. Power bomb. That's got to be it. He kicks out at two. Ridge Holland just kicked out at two. Gunther can't believe it. He picks up Ridge Holland, connecting with a chop. And now a chop from Ridge. But a headbutt from Gunther takes out Ridge Holland. A knee misses. Ridge back to his feet. And he takes out Gunther at the knees. Gunther going to make a tag. Here comes Kaiser. Ridge still in the ring. Kaiser takes him out. Ridge Holland desperately needs to make a tag. As Kaiser rolls him into the middle of the ring. Off the ropes. And a big kick to the head. Goes into a cover. Sheamus breaks it up at one. Now Gunther coming after the United States champion. On the ring apron. Dropping him on the ring apron. His back might be broken. And now in the middle of the ring a DDT. Gunther takes out Butch. And Imperium pick up a win against the Brawling Brutes. Here are your winners. Gunter, Giovanni Vinci, and Ludwig Kaiser. Imperia! Here is the brand new WWE Women's Champion, the man, Becky Lynch. After surviving five other women in a six-woman match at day one, she did emerge victorious, and she's here to celebrate on Monday Night Raw. Certainly not to me, anyway. And here is one of the women that Becky beat at day one, Bianca Belair. Obviously has a problem with what Becky Lynch was saying. Oh, hang on a second. Another woman that Becky beat at day one. The dangerous Rhea Ripley is also here. Now Rhea rushing the ring. She's got Bianca Belair into a riptide. Oh my goodness. No words exchanged. Becky rolled out of the ring. She's out of here. And now Rhea Ripley again. Another riptide. What does this mean for the WWE Women's Division?
Well, after all of that, it is main event time as Solo Sikoa is set to take on Finn Balor one-on-one. -on -one. Finn Balor telling me he is not done with Roman Reigns or the Bloodline. And I don't know if I've ever seen Finn Balor with the look of determination that I saw him with when he was talking about the Bloodline. Now here is Finn Balor, just a few days removed from taking an absolute beating from the WWE Champion Roman Reigns. But uh, Roman Reigns did have quite an advantage as Finn was being taken out by the Bloodline weeks before their matchup. And Finn is here to get retribution on Solo Sokoa. This main event is underway as Finn Balor starts with a sling blade. Wasting no time here on Solo Sokoa. And now a flying forearm misses, but an elbow. And now takes out the knee of Solo Sokoa as he stomps on the stomach. Now Finn going top rope. And Solo rolls out of the way. Now Solo Sokoa looking for a suplex of some kind. Finn Balor. Working out of it. Balor has had an answer for everything Solo throws his way tonight. But now Solo throws him into the corner. Now Solo getting a full head of steam. An elbow. A vicious elbow to Finn Balor in the corner. Now off the ropes. A headbutt to Finn Balor. Goodness gracious. A headbutt. And he's going to line up again. And now Finn Balor gets out of the way. And now a reversal from Solo. These two men, back and forth we go. Now Solo planting Finn Balor in the middle of the ring. Off the ropes again. Another headbutt. Looking for it for a fourth time. Finn gets out of the way again. And now a drop kick to Solo. Doesn't get all of it. And a clothesline over the top rope. Finn Balor is a man possessed tonight. Now Solo back to his feet. Heading back into the ring. A big uppercut from Solo and a reversal from Finn. Now an Irish whip into the ropes. An arm drag. A stop to the chest of Solo Sokoa. More kicks. Now Finn Balor, he's got him ready. 1916. Balor heading to the top rope. You know what he's looking for. Looking to end this matchup right now. Coup de gras. It connects. Balor into the cover. That's got to be it. Solo kicks out at two. Balor can't believe it. Balor stomp misses. And now a takedown from Solo. Balor slow to his feet here. As here comes Solo with an homage to his father. Now Solo with a leg drop onto the arm of Finn Balor. Balor in a bad spot here. In a clothesline from Solo into the pin. A kick out at one. Oh my god, I can't believe he just kicked out a one! And a Samoan drop from Solo Sokoa! Solo looking for the Samoan spike, and Finn Balor fights out of it. Now Finn Balor taking it to Solo. Into a clothesline! Balor setting up. 
Solo to his feet. Looking for it again. 1916. Now Finn Balor going to the top rope. This has got to be it. Coup de Gras a second time. Into the cover. Finn Balor picks up a win against Solo Sokoa. Everyone wants to know where the demon comes from. You see, unlike Roman, I wasn't born into a wrestling family. I don't have a bloodline. I was born into a family of railroad workers. I'm not supposed to be here, but this is what I chose. And I scratched, and I clawed, and I fought, and here I am. The demon comes from inside. The demon is a manifestation of everyone that's ever told me no, or doubted me, or disrespected me. The demon unlocks a rage inside of me that cannot be controlled. I don't summon the demon. The demon summons me. Now Roman and his cousins their disrespect, it's just adding fuel to the fire. But Roman will see that the fire that burns inside of me burns much brighter than the fires that burn all around me. You are looking at the face of Finn Balor, the challenger. You will see the face of the demon. Welcome to Friday Night Smackdown, as we will get underway with the brand new Universal Champion, Seth freaking Rollins. visionary. He is a revolutionary. He is Seth. Oh, Drew McIntyre. We haven't seen him in our universe mode just yet, but he is making his presence known, interrupting the brand new Universal Champion. of a man you really are. Fight me tonight. <laughs> See you in the main event. And it is confirmed later tonight we will have a universal championship match between Drew McIntyre and Seth freaking Rollins.
Kevin Owens, still your Intercontinental Champion after the latter match at day one against Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler was taken to a hospital after that match. Still no word on if he's okay or not. Obviously going to be taking some time off, but Kevin Owens won't be as he is still Intercontinental Champion. And Kevin Owens taken out from behind. That, that, that's Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes from NXT taking out Kevin Owens. Oh, my goodness. An absolute blindside. And now here's Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn to save his friend Kevin Owens. What is going on? And a suplex to Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes came out of nowhere. To take out Kevin Owens and now Sami Zayn taking out Carmelo Hayes himself. Oh my goodness. And next week it will be Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn taking on Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams. Drew McIntyre interrupting Seth Rollins earlier tonight and talked his way into a Universal Championship match here in the main event. Introducing the challenger from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, he is the WWE Universal Champion, And this Universal Championship match is underway. Seth Rollins, a fighting champion, but just a couple days removed from a grueling match with Bobby Lashley. 
Don't know how wise it was for him to accept Drew McIntyre's challenge and a big chop from Drew. Drew McIntyre, one of the strongest men in WWE as he drops Seth Rollins on the top rope there. This is going to be a fight. And now a kick from Seth Rollins to get back on top. Rollins going top rope. McIntyre back to his feet. And a crossbody lands. Taking out Drew McIntyre. McIntyre rolling out of the ring now. Back in the ring we go. As Rollins hooks the leg of McIntyre. Dropping him on his head. A vicious move. Looking for a flying knee right after. McIntyre gets out of the way. Now an Irish whip into the ropes. And a big clothesline taking out Rollins. And I look at the strength of McIntyre into a power bomb. Kick out at one from Rollins. What a move from McIntyre. Planting Rollins, but Rollins able to kick out. And now McIntyre from behind into a power slam. McIntyre just throwing Rollins around at the beginning of this match. And Rollins back on top with a leg sweep. Misses a leg drop, though, and now a flying headbutt. This match is all over the place. McIntyre lifting him up and into a glass now kiss. Oh, my God. Rollins might be knocked out. And a kick out at one again. The resiliency from Rollins has been nothing but impressive. Rollins groggy on the outside of the ring, being lifted over the top rope and into a clothesline into the mat. Now McIntyre lifting up Rollins again. Rollins fighting out of it. Looking for a pedigree. It's reversed. And now, oh my god, the strength of Drew McIntyre. He thinks he's got it. We could have a new Universal Champion and Rollins kicks out at one again. McIntyre can't believe it. And now McIntyre looking to claim his first Universal Championship. Claymore! Claymore connects to Rollins! This could be it! Kick out at two! Rollins kicks out at two! Drew McIntyre thought he had the match one. Another Glasgow kiss! This has got to be it! Rollins pops back to his feet but into a Falcon Arrow. Hook to the leg. A kick out at one! Rollins just kicked out at one after all that! I can't believe it! Rollins fighting back! Now he's got McIntyre! Pedigree! A pedigree! Seth Rollins fighting his way all the way back into this match! And now he's lining up! A curb stomp! Curb stomp! Rollins is gonna retain! Kick out at two! This match has been absolutely insane! He just kicked out of a curb stomp! McIntyre rolled out of the ring. Rollins going top rope! It's to the outside! Crossbody to the outside! Both of these men putting their bodies on the line for the Universal Championship! Rollins throws McIntyre back in the ring. Now he lifts up McIntyre. A couple of right hands from Rollins looking for a sling blade and McIntyre takes his legs out. Looking for a big boot was McIntyre. And now an Irish whip into the corner. A duck under into a spine buster. A spine buster takes out Rollins. And now McIntyre a kick reversed. Rollins got him again into a pedigree. Both men on the floor and oh my god. Oh my god. It's Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley was Seth Rollins opponent at day one. He unfortunately lost his universal championship and he is back on Friday night Smackdown. I don't know what his plan is here, but he takes out Rollins and this match is over. Drew McIntyre just lost his chance at the Universal title at the hands of Bobby Lashley. Now Lashley working on Drew McIntyre. Rollins laying flat on the outside. 
And now Lashley setting him up. And a spear to McIntyre. Rollins laughing. What does this mean for the Universal Championship picture?